What is Joe Biden's plan to save us from James Charles? Any White House representatives want to give me that answer? Because... You know what, I'm not even going to go on with that joke. Just because trying to get a thought process right now, like one continuous thought about what's going on with James Charles, is pretty hard. And now if you don't know what's happened, James Charles has been exposed again. And now, I hate the being exposed and being cancelled and all whenever it comes to really serious shit with minors. And so I'm going to tell you what has happened in the most safe way. Protecting the integrity and information of the minor and sh not showing private information. Nonetheless, I'm still going to give you everything that happened and tell you about it, and then James has already responded. So, you're probably aware, but this happened last night. Um, James, someone has came forward, a minor, that James Charles was being very forward with them, added them, knowing that they were a fan of James Charles, basically wanting something that rhymes with um, moods, or mick mix. Wait. Mick Ricks. Dick pics. And different pictures of the minor's body. Is what James Charles was allegedly doing. That this minor has came forward and made a video about James Charles on TikTok and was showing the Snapchats that James sent him. And now, from the looks of it, they look like real Snapchats. He was taking them on like another device, whatever. Like he has all of this to the fact of let me just... It's so... We're seeing this far too often with the people at the top of the top, the top of the pyramid of these social medias, TikTok, YouTube, whatever, uh, are inappropriate with their minor fans. And now, not to sound like Sanders Kennedy, but more needs to be done, more needs to be looked into this, and... Do I think an investigation needs to happen? I think an investigation would have happened if this was um, a male 21 year old doing this to um, a young uh, girl. As it should be. It should be investigated in that and it also should be investigated if it's a 21 year old male to a, a 16 year old male. They should both be investigated. They should both be looked into further to ensure the safety of the minor. So this minor came forward with a video, basically that James Charles added him on Snapchat and <laughs> James was asking to see his body, allegedly. He wanted to see pictures of his body hair, his body, whatever. And the minor says that he didn't do this. Then he goes on to say that James Charles started sending him something that rhymes with moods of his body, of his ass and his thing, and he was able to show them, like he was able to show them in this TikTok, which is now being taken down and scrubbed from the entire internet. Okay, James and your team, allegedly. Is there a reason, James, why any Twitter person who is um, reposting this video are getting their accounts suspended, or locked, or whatever. And it's all stemming from that video is now being scrubbed from the internet. And the minor who came forward was like, I didn't delete it. It's being, like, pushed aside or whatever. So, the minor said that he didn't want to engage in any of this, allegedly, and that James then wanted to start FaceTiming him, and he said that he, the minor said he was uncomfortable because he was 16 years old, he didn't want to go forward with this, and then... James Charles allegedly came forward um, and said to him that, oh, I didn't even get to see that mick yet. Again, rhyming words here. And with James Charles, we've... Allegate, it's so hard to come up with. How I want to film this video straight up will probably go against the... The terms of service of YouTube, because I'm so angry, I'm so fed up. Time and time and time again, these sort of allegations come up against James Charles, stemming back to by sister, 
by Taddy Westbrook. How are the exact same allegations coming up time after time after time after time? The exact same ones. And how is it each time that James Charles has no problem pushing the blame onto the minor who's coming forward? Oh, they're quite chasing, you know, oh, I, uh, they, they lied about their age, whatever. You're the adult. You're the one with power. James, you are a gay man. Go on Tinder, go on Grindr if you, if you so badly want a relationship. But you should know that with your power and with your influence comes online dating does not work for celebrities. I don't know why you're so persistent to like seek out your minor fans to add them on Snapchat and try form some sort of relationship with them. Allegedly. It's disgusting. And James really quickly came out and addressed this and further like... I'm just gonna read this out to you. I'm so sorry for being a bit all over the place in this. I'm just... This is illegal. This is illegal. James Charles came forward after this video went viral. James Charles has been trending number one on Twitter for over 48 hours. Or 20, yeah, 24 hours, sorry. James Charles came forward and said, trigger warning, grooming, and something that rhymes with Melia. I'm really trying hard not to say triggering words here. So James said, There's a video going around about me on Twitter and TikTok of a guy calling me a groomer and I want to address it right away. The accusation that I have groomed this person is completely false. Okay, so here he's saying that it's completely false. Listen. Last week I came across someone on my Instagram Explore page Saw he followed me and added him on Snapchat. May I make it very known that this guy very much so looks like a minor. He does not even look over 18. You're a grown man, James Charles. A grown man. So he said it was false. I came across him, saw he followed me, and I added him on Snapchat. Well, because it's even better if you know that they like you, you know, as a fan, and then you can add them and try to date them because there's already that big power imbalance. Perfect. And especially with minors, they're very excited to talk to their favorite person in the world, and you're aware of that. It's fucking disgusting. The next morning, I woke up to several snaps from this person being excited that I added him back because he was your fan. Saying he loved me and also lewd photos of himself in the shower. So, you're in possession of minors' moods? Naked photos of minors? You're saying, from this, I may be interpreting this wrong, James. And also lewd photos of himself in the shower. So you, you're in possession, or were in possession, of a 16-year-old's mids? And you continued on after that? Because in his video, he's showing what you sent him. This is honestly... This is not drama! This is not drama! Why haven't the journalists picked up this story yet? Why haven't the drama channels? Why haven't the commentary channels? Because this isn't fucking drama. We're like two sentences into this statement. I asked how old he was right away and he said that he was 18 so I started flirting back. It's very clear that this person is not 18. Can I let it know? And also, you go on, James, to say that you're not um, trying to victim blame him, but here you're saying that he was like, well, he lied to me, so I had no problem sending him pictures of myself. That's your responsibility. You're a grown adult. In the excitement of meeting someone I thought could be potentially great, Someone who already loves you and has a passion, you know, for your work, so you know there would be a power imbalance. That's what you're excited about. I didn't ask for a copy of his ID or passport. It's now clear, based on the video he uploaded, he was taking photos of me with another device and had an ulterior motive from the beginning. Fuck you mean, al like, alternative motive. 
Aren't you the one who found him? You saw he followed you. You saw that he was a fan of you. You added him on Snapchat. The only person who could have an alternative motive in this is you. What's his alternative motive? He didn't know what was happening. Going into it and even in it. This is fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. Later in the day, he said a few things that made me question the, you know, how valid the original age answer was. And I asked him to confirm his age. Once again, he admitted that he, or wait, I asked him to confirm his age once again, and he admitted that he was 16. So you did all that with a 16 year old, from what you're telling us. A 16 year old. May I bring up one point? I went after Trisha Paytas for saying that James Charles being friends with Charlie D'Amelio, the 16 year old, was inappropriate. You know what? I apologize, Trisha Paytas. I take that back. I'm not saying that James Charles ever was or wants to be romantic with uh, Charlie D'Amelio. But all I'm saying is, if he was doing this to a 16 year old and he's saying that here, allegedly, Charlie is that exact same age. So people are like, how ridiculous. Charlie's a, a child. He's her mentor. He had no problem in this situation from the looks of it, from literally what he's telling us in this statement. There's no twisting words going on here. This is the words that he's written down. This is honestly like... And it makes you question because James Charles rooted so hard for those Lopez brothers to, you know, them. I told him I was really uncomfortable and apologized for flirting, but he insisted on continue talking. Sounds like victim blaming here. Saying it could be our little secret. He's a fan of mine and would never tell anyone. At that point, I unfriended uh, him. We haven't spoken since. I'm not victim blaming him. What were the past two sentences then? What were the past two sentences for? Or victimizing myself. What was the past paragraph for then? Simply sharing what happened and what happened was not okay. You had no problem keeping it hushed though until this video went viral. After false allegations like this in the past, I would never knowingly engage with anyone underage and put my life on the line for a few Snapchats. See, James, that's what I would think too. That's honestly what I would think. I would think if you went through this, you know, we saw what happened, never again. But within the past year, maybe five situations like this have came up and each time they're able to show inappropriate Snapchats you sent them. Allegedly. I'm starting to think you pushing it off as the blame of everyone and blaming Jeffrey, Shane, and Taddy. I'm starting to think that doesn't apply anymore. I, I do not think it can apply to be like, oh, what happened to me in this year, whatever. If it's the same behavior getting called out for year after year after year, like, why is it the same situation and so many people are coming forward? That's what I'm very confused at. I don't want to believe this. I, I do not want to believe this. But this entire statement is James saying that, yeah, this happened. Because of situations like this, and, um, instead of taking someone's word for it, I'll ask to see ID or a passport of every guy I have a conversation with. Or, don't add your underage fans on Snapchat, then start being flirty with them. And then progressing it past that. This is deeply disturbing. Like, this is so fucked. This is sh so fucked.
at the top of the pyramid, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, why are the biggest creators all in a similar controversy with like the word grooming? Some of them are being sued for it, other ones are just being cancelled for it. What is going on? And why are they all like in the same friend group? This is... A story I, I didn't, I, I, I did not want to cover. I, I... And that's not, I, I don't mean that in terms of like people in the comments being like, don't push yourself to do videos. I mean that in terms of like, why should anyone ever have to talk about a story like this? Because why does this happen? Why do these kind of events happen? Between YouTubers, celebrities, between um, the regular day-to-day -day people, why does this happen? It's it's just it's not drama. It's 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 not. Bro, not my alarm going off. Sorry, that's my time to wake up. I'm so sorry if that. <laughs> I get that PTSD from waking up in the morning. Um, oh my god, I was awake before my alarm today. It's not good. I want to know what your opinion is on this. I have nothing else to say. I have, I have nothing else to say at this moment. I think I've made my opinions very clear and where I stand in this. Ridiculous. I'll, I'll see you in my next one, Bessie. Bye.